There's been a lot of conversation in regards to Venezuelan gangs in Colorado, Aurora to be exact, where it is said that they have taken over apartment buildings, they've robbed people of their rent money, uh, kicked people out, and a whole host of other things. Now, I uh, looked myself to see exactly what was going on, and I went to uh, Denver Right, which is a newspaper in Colorado, so I say big up to them for really getting to the root of what may or may not be going on. It still sounds like a lot of confusion, but nevertheless, it is said that there are some apartment buildings that are owned by CBZ management and uh, that management is saying that yes the Venezuelan gangs have come over and ran out the managers and uh, different residents and things like that and they have taken over. Now there is some conflicting reports because the city is saying that CBZ management is actually slumlords and that problems persisted before the gangs became an issue where it says that uh, people are living in lackluster conditions where there's rats, roaches, mold, leaking water and a whole host of other things and that yes, uh, nonprofits did place uh, migrants from Venezuela there but so the city and the management are having conflicting stories, but there have been residents who have called the police and said, yes, I was robbed of my rent money and, you know, just the different things that were going on. So it is said that the Venezuelan uh, gangs actually broke out of prison uh, in Venezuela when uh, the gangs took over the prison there. And it was under the leadership of Hector El Nino uh, Guerrero. And they are looking for him, by the way. They don't know where he is. But they said that the gang uh, Trenda Aragua, they are about 5,000 members strong all over the world. And that they have terrorized places like Chile, uh, Panama, United States, Brazil, and a couple of other places. And that they are growing. Now, it is said that in July, the Biden administration put sanctions on the gangs which is kind of weird to me anyway due to the things that they have been doing human trafficking sex trafficking you know murder and just a whole host of other things uh but yeah so it seems like there is a conflict but i would say this as i was spending some time on tiktok i've seen a lot of brothers and other people in chicago and detroit and other places like nah Y'all ain't coming up over here. Don't You ain't going to try that over here and be successful because we got a lot of people who ain't going to put up with you. Gangs from Venezuela coming over and taking over and terrorizing the neighborhood and all kind of stuff like that. And so, you know, that does my heart good to see that, to uh, see brothers. And there's other uh, people saying the same thing too, saying, nope, not on our watch. But the other thing I want to say is great. Y'all want to keep the Venezuelan gangs up out of there? I, I applaud you for that. But how about keeping other gangs up out of there? And all the other terrorists that are homegrown, if you will, up out of the neighborhood. See, I, I love that energy. But have that energy not only for Venezuelan gangs, but have it for the gangs that's in the neighborhoods and Ray Ray and Pookie and, you know, whoever is out there uh, causing havoc in the neighborhoods. So anyway, y'all tell me what you think of that. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri. All right. Welcome to another episode. All right. The name of this one is Venezuelan Gangs Warned by Black Men, you know, not to come <laughs> into their city. All right. And this is from the African Diaspora News Channel. You see the heading right here. Venezuelan Gangs Warned by Black Men in Other Cities Not to Go There with Their Foolishness. All right, and we understand that you know this is Jake versus Jake. All right, you know, but this is not the elect we're talking about here. This is the this is the wicked, the wicked Israelites. All right, we're talking about the house of Saul here. All right, and as the Lord said, any house divided upon itself can't stand. Okay, on one end you have the Venezuelan gangs, who who were strategically placed, you know, by Biden, you know, and um. As she said earlier in the, in the video, you know, um, in July, they put sanctions on the gangs. But well, wait a minute, how could you put sanctions on, on somebody you're not supposed to not recognize or not a recognized entity? Right? It's because the gangs are recognized. By who? They recognize and they set up by who? The bank and elite. You know? That's who this that's who they recognize by. And if you go back into this video, you can see you'll see images where uh, I believe the guy was um throwing up the baphomet if you, look, if you look carefully that's not by chance these gangs are agents of chaos they're created for that purpose 
all right they created for the purpose of chaos to bring chaos and destruction all right and you have the guy this is the guy here who's the head of the gang hector guerrero I believe guerrero means warrior all right they call him el nino which is a weather phenomenon a serious weather phenomenon all right it just shows you you know how these jakes are reprobate because Venezuela are the tribe of what? Asher. Alright? Here we go. This is it here. What sign do you see them throwing up here? Okay. This is the gang sign. What, what, what symbol is that? That's what? The Baphomet. Alright, so a lot of these here, these, these they, they are affiliated with the secret societies, etc. Alright, the name of that gang is being the um what do you call it? Let me see if I can find Google Translate here. Google. Google. Let's see the name of the gang word means. Google Translate. Yeah, here we go. Let's switch this around. Spanish to English. Let's enter that text. De Araguen. I believe that's the name of the gang. De Aragua. De Aragua. De Aragua. It means of Aragua. Alright. Alright, let me just check this here. What does Salakia? What does the the, the name? Aragua mean mean in Spanish, I believe. Aragua. It says Aragua state would mean my place, would mean my place, my country. <laughs> All right, what country is Aragua? And Aragua is in northern Venezuela. It is bounded by to the north by the Caribbean Sea, to the east by the district, federal district, and Miranda State. All right, so it says it means my place, my country. So they, so this is what they're doing. They're making America, all right, their place and their country. You know, is no man, woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. They say um, Aragua State is one of the 23 states of Venezuela. It is located in the north central region of Venezuela. It has plains and jungles and Caribbean beaches. All right. And this is where the gang, it looks, seems as the gang comes from, you know, come from. All right. You know, the name of the state comes from an indigenous word, um, Kuman or Goto, which probably has a Hebrew origin. It means Caribbean, which is used to refer to the to the um shaguramo shaguramo which is which i believe comes from the arawak or the amerindian a type of palm from the region all right so this is what it means it is my place so <clears throat> these gangs have made certain states where they were placed and strategically placed that is by um by biden you know their home all right and all this is a setup all this is a setup, as I was saying before, how we can place sanctions on a group that's not supposed to be recognized. All right, but it is. All right, and this is what's going on. So it's all manner of division is going to take place in Babylon the Great. All manner of division is taking place. And you all right. And the Lord Yabashim Yahushai, you know, has that counsel against that place. You know, he has a counsel against Babylon the Great America. All right. Uh, let me see if I can do this. My council. The Lord has a plan for that place. And he's going to bring it to pass. He's going to destroy it. Alright? And uh, yeah, this is um, Isaiah 46 and 10. Say that. Um, so also another, another uh, precept. Bear with my moment here. All right, so um, you know, hey, and the priest are going to come back to me, Lord willing. All right, 
But anyway, at the end of the day, the Lord is setting up, you know, great confusion in the land of Babylon. Which Babylon name stands for confusion. It means confusion. Alright, but let's get some precepts here. Let's get the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 24. It reads, <clears throat> And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Right, so the house of Saul is not going to stand. The house of the wicked Israelites. But then you have all these so-called black men and their gangs now saying they're going to uh, come up against these Venezuelans. So it's tribe versus tribe. Asher versus Judah. For the most part. All right, southern kingdom versus northern kingdom. Same old thing. It's nothing new under the sun. All right. And the northern kingdom, you know, the tribe, when you try but Asher, Asher means happy. They make themselves happy. So they're, they're wicked and they're happy. And they're, they're happy in the wickedness. You know, they're going about, you know, um, stealing other, stealing their brothers and sisters' money, Jake, Jake money, you know, which Jake already oppressed in all these, in all these um, buildings. But it's all judgment because at the end of the day, those Jakes never repented, never turned to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? So this is what the Lord is doing. Mark 3 and verse 25. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. All right, so this is what the Lord is doing, bringing that great confusion, that great division, as He said He would do it. Okay, now let's get some other precepts to back that up. Luke eleven and seventeen. It says, "But but but He, knowing your thoughts, said unto him, him to them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth." All right, that's what's happening. So elect. It's coming together as according to the scriptures. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together, O nation not desired. Gather yourself together before the decree, decree come forth. That's roughly paraphrasing. So we becoming more together in togetherness, being the, the hopeful elect. And the wicked Israelites and the rest of the world becoming divided. So therefore, they, we, we are being built up. They are being thrown down. Right? Luke 11 and 18 it says, If Satan be also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? All right? Because you say that I cast out devils through bulls above. All right? And the point is, the Lord, the Abashim, is the one who's doing it. Let's get Luke 12. And we start verse 51. It says what? Suppose ye that I'm come to give peace on earth. This is your Hawashai speaking. All right? Our Lord and Savior. It says, suppose ye that I'm come to give peace on earth. I tell you, nay. But rather division. Right. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. And this is literal to more families, but also in terms of the tribes. Alright? You know they're gonna be divided against each other. This is what's happening right now. Northern Kingdom versus Southern Kingdom, Jakes, who are wicked, who refuse to repent, and it's all happening where in Babylon the Great and other places around the world. Alright? Well, let's get um Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1, it says, The burden of Egypt, behold, Yahweh Baasham Yahweh Shai, rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, which is a lot of these, um, these rappers, these R&B singers, these basketball and sports, play, sports stars, they've been on a lie by the Lord, right? the idols of Egypt. Right, so the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Right, the mind. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Right, a lot of Jakes, they are so called Egyptians because the modern day Egyptian is the American, the Babylonian. Right, you know, mystery Babylon, America. Right, so the Lord is setting the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother. Right, because Asha and, and Judah brothers, right? And everyone against his neighbor, city against city, right? Like they said, um, the, the Venezuelan gangs were won by the so-called black men or black gangs, right? City against city, not to come into the city. And kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the council thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits. And to the wizards and a lot of our people, you know, a lot of our women in particular, because they're going to be the ones feeling a lot of this. 
right? Because the Venezuelan gangs going about graping women, you know, um, showing women, showing people out of their homes. Basically, second edge just 15 has begun already. All right, you know, and a lot of them going to be turning to, the, to witchcraft, but it's not going to help you. Then the Lord say, um, let's see, in fact, let's get this second edge just eight and um, verse 50. It says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Why? Because they have walked in great pride. You know, they don't, they don't want to submit themselves and their minds to Yahabashim Yahweshai. All right? They didn't do it. So now the Lord is going to send his plagues. All right? Let's get second as just the 15th chapter and the fifth and um, the 14 verse. It says what? Woe to, the, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hand. That's guns in their hand. Now when you look through this video. You're going to see that. Alright. You're going to see that. Alright. Guns in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. Right. Overthrowing the government. You know. Going against the government. The states. And invading one another. So they, these jakes. These Asherites. These Venezuelan gangs, they're already invading um, other jakes and, and heathens, you know. Invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of the action shall stand in their power. Alright, so this is what's going on here. And, and you know, as the scriptures say, when Jake starts a rampage, alright, it's like an unto a lion among the beasts of the forest. That's Micah 5, verse 8. It says, and the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, right? As a lion among the beasts of the forest. And the remnant goes into the elect, right? But when the rest of the Jake, they, they, are, they will be also elect through the, through the firstborn, through the um, elect of the elect. But there's an elect of the elect, the chosen, right? And the rest of the Jakes, they're going to be saved through the elect. All right? The chosen. But for now, they bogged out. It says, um... The remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who if he go through, would tread it down and tear it in pieces, and none can, shall, can deliver. Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thy enemies shall be cut off. So the Lord is going to use Israel again to wipe out a lot of these Edomites to all these different gangs, these, these gangs of these Jakes that's growing. All right, he's going to use them against one another and against the heathen. All right, that's the plot plan. And this is a great plan. Going back into, um, is it 2nd Ezra's? 2nd Ezra's, the 8th chapter. When he said, um, this world is created for many and the world to come for few. Yeah. All right. 2nd Ezra's 8 and 1. And he answered me saying, the most high had made this world for many. But the world to come for few. So a lot of these jakes are going to be unalive in each other. Right? At a rapid rate. Bringing to pass the prophecies. 2nd Ezra 6 and 33. It says what? It says in fact verse 32. 4 it says in the wars shall their bridegroom be destroyed. And their husband shall be perish of famine. So the sword is going to destroy them. And these women are going to be left in a bad state. Alright? That's facts. Now going back to 2nd Ezra 15. The 17 verse it says what a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able so these devils biden and they were really and truly going back to the banking elite they're creating this confusion you know to, to bring the order remember the scripture say remember um they, they are they're slacking on the scripture they they um their mantra is order out of chaos right order add ko problem reaction solution so they're bringing all this confusion to bring the, their order you know, the way they want it to happen. Alright? And that's what's going to happen in these cities. It says, A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, which is what military checkpoints, roadblocks, going to happen as a result of this. this the place is going to be ungovernable, so they're going to have to call military, military arm. Um, they're going to have to put it under martial law. Alright? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. So the Lord is troubling the cities with these gangs because of these people's pride. They refuse to repent. Right? The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods, grape their wife, their daughter, steal all their food, right? 
because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So this is what the Lord is doing here. All right. I'm going to get one more precept, Lord willing. We'll close this out, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. It says what? As for wisdom, Salakia's wisdom of Solomon. 2nd Ezra 6, 22. It says, and suddenly shall the soon places appear on soon. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Then the trumpet shall give a song, which when every man hear it, they shall be they shall be suddenly afraid, going back into the um they're not gonna have men patrolling these streets. They're gonna have artificial intelligence and robots, drones. So when they hear the siren like you hear in Terminator, it's your ass, you know, this is why they're gonna be so afraid. Alright? These machines are gonna be fighting, your ass is gonna be fighting. Alright? And at that time friends shall shall friends fight one again one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. So wow. So it's hell on earth. So great confusion is coming. Great confusion is coming. Babylon is divided. Right? Jacob's trouble is soon at hand. You better repent. Right? Saying next time. Abad Babal, Washalawam.